It turns out that Yuan Qi died 1000 years ago, and what exists now is only a fragment of his soul. Why is it that in the first scene of the drama, Yuan Qi sees a Yin soul going to another life? He saw a white-robed body jump into the vortex of reincarnation but he hesitated to jump along like she did in her last life. The answer was because he wasn't sure that person was a yin and didn't dare to take the risk. Because at that time he was also dead, only a fragment of his soul remained. If he jumps into the reincarnation, unfortunately his soul power cannot withstand it, and the person in front of him is not a yin, then he will lose the ability to look for her. The destruction of the Great Mountain was a great pain for Yuan Qi. Watching his teacher and him grow up, the landscape was destroyed and people turned to ashes. Extreme pain caused Yuan Qi to break the seal and open the true god's bloodline. At that time, everyone only knew that Yuan Qi had returned to his true identity as a true god. No one knew that during the time a Yin was under house arrest, he secretly used all his divine power to revive DZ Sun. Hun Luan power can save the soul. That year Yuan Qi used his divine power to awaken the immortal spirits of his dead fellow disciples. Let their souls return to practice and revive from that day Yuan Qi no longer exists. The power of Hun Luan's is the only power in the world that can gather dead souls to help bring the dead back to life. But to revive all the disciples of the Dazi Mountain, a little divine power is simply impossible. Birth, old age, sickness, and death are the rules of the three realms, even if you are a god. You cannot arbitrarily break them, otherwise you will have to pay a very heavy price. That year, Yuan Qi and broke the seal to open the true god's bloodline, using all of his divine power to barely help all the disciples of the DZ mountain gather back to their bodies. To revive them, divine power is needed to be nurtured through a long process. Thousands of years have passed and Yuan Qi's divine power has always been at Great Trach Mountain, helping them cultivate and awaken. To prevent the demons in the three worlds from discovering and disturbing, Yuan Qi sealed and concealed this aspect of DZ Mountain, so over the years, no one has discovered this truth. Over the years, when Feng Yin returned, Yuan Qi's body was transformed by the divine power of the primordial spirit sword. At that time, a Yin released Hong Yi, accused of being a traitor. Under pressure from the fairies, Yuan Qi imposed the punishment of stripping her of her fairy bones, imprisoning her in Qingxi Palace until the day DZ Mountain was reborn. Yuan Qi tried to protect her and arrange a peaceful life for her, at the cost of his life and all his divine power. But then a yin disappeared and took away everything Yuan Qi had worked hard to arrange. He used his soul to search for her for thousands of years, when he saw a yin's figure on the royal road. Because he was not sure, he did not dare to jump after her into the cycle of reincarnation, which was the scene at the beginning of the drama. 